I mean, it's no big secret, first of all, right, that I don't like running. <laughs> but, the, but the thing is, I, I have been running up to this point uh, three times a week, running 5K, about US 3.1 miles. And it's always been a struggle for me to do that. It never got easy. And I actually sort of fell off a little bit like, uh, in the past couple of months. Like a couple of months ago, I started, ended up not even making the 5K, like walking some of it. And, uh, and I started to feel bad about that. I was like, ah, oh, this, can't, this can't go. This can't happen. So I, so I, I said, okay, I'm going to start running 5K every single day. Instead of three days a week, I'm going to run every single day. Hey, welcome back to Get Up and Code. I'm John Sanmez, and I have a very special episode for you this week. I say that a lot, but this is a very weird episode. Let me put it that way. The sound quality is not going to be very good because I recorded this entire episode while I was running. All right, so this is kind of a different episode of Get Up and Code. I'm actually recording this episode while running. I'm recording on my phone. I would record this episode for two reasons. One of them is because I realized this morning that I had a limiting belief that was stopping me from progressing, that was limiting who I am. And, uh, and I crashed through that limiting belief this morning. Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from SimpleProgrammer.com. So I'm out here getting ready for the full marathon this year, the San Diego full marathon. You can check out my video last year from where I, I did the half. That was my first half marathon. And so for some crazy reason, I decided to sign up for the actual full this year. And I'm getting ready to, to do this. It's going to be crazy. You can see there's a ton of, of people here. I'll be starting in around half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. And I'm aiming for a time of around 4.30, so that'll be 10 minute and 20 second miles. Should be fairly easy. I might be able to have done a four hour, but uh, I think that'll be, uh, I don't want to risk it. I want to make sure I get this done today. So yeah, fun, Run, running for four and a half hours. All right. Just the crazy motherfuckers left here in the pool. I'm hot. All right. Ah! We're, we're, we're seeing me running. We're looking for a warrior from the fucking pie. Ah! All right, buddy. Hey, dude, how you feel? How are you? Yeah, yeah. 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 We're out. 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 Go. <laughs> right. I'll be robbing, homie. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hell yeah. That was fun, dude. Yeah. I'll see you there again. All right. In LA. Yeah. For sure. A little more than halfway. Go get that. Halfway point, mile 20. <laughs> this is it, baby. Finish line, less than half a mile to go. Last mile, gonna come in under 430. All right, All right. so I made it, 26.2 miles. My first full marathon, official full marathon, and I'm gonna keep this short because I wanna get in the shower. I'm pretty damn tired. It was pretty tough, definitely. I did not quite make my goal of hitting 
a 430 time. I was 430, 436 and 15 seconds. But hey, I'll take that with the hills. There's a lot of hills. There's actually mile 22 and mile 23 was one big ass hill. So that was uh, that was a nice shocker at that point. I ended up doing some. I didn't carve up like crazy like I did when I did that half marathon. The last half marathon I did two weeks ago it was not a good idea. I did carve up on Friday and then just my normal lifting carve up with my diet program. And then I did take. Uh, glucose packets throughout the race at, at various spots uh, just because I thought it probably would help optimize and just to make sure that I didn't hit the wall even though I've been optimizing for fat burning I read some studies that showed that or some some reports of runners saying that that would uh, would, would help even when they're eating fasting when they're normal runs and eating high fat and low carb so tried it out seemed to work actually I felt pretty good actually uh, most of the run I felt I was feeling really great about mile 13 mile 14 and then man started to get hit around mile 19 and mile 20 there it is mile 20 21 oh man that was that was tough it was tough to get to keep it going but hey I'm happy I, I did it uh, I don't know if I'll be doing more fulls I'll definitely do more halves but I, I'm not sure if I'll do more fulls. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's worth the pain and the time <laughs> and the sacrifice and dedication for the training, but I'm happy to have it done. It's amazing, actually, with the San Diego Half Marathon, I had, I, I had, that was the first half that I had done when I did the half last year, I had signed up for it. You can check out the video here where, where I talk about, or, or where, I, where I, I signed up for it on a whim, actually, and that got me into doing this kind of running, and then, it's kind of cool that one year later, I actually did the full. And this was something that I thought I'd never be able to do. I, I talked about it a lot of times in Get Up and Code. I'll probably put some clips into this video and uh, you know, kind of talk about how how I had, had thought this was impossible. But that's all I got for now. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll do some more and talk about this a little bit more later on. But I gotta take a break and I gotta go hit, hit the shower, so. I'm pretty happy, <laughs> but uh, I'm tired. <laughs>